and welcome to Zach on Three TV. Today, this uh, we are recording the NCCRS at Iowa. Currently, uh, this is the final round of 16 race, so uh, drivers that are below the cut line will have to come and clutch today. We'll get to that in a moment. But uh, 25 laps. We got uh, Dark X Ray and Reggie Filgman in the booth with us. Uh, Dark Rain, you got any initial thoughts? I guess you didn't hear me there. Uh, Reggie, do you got any Reggie. initial well, thoughts? Well, Saber Fox will be... No, I didn't hear that. Nobody's hit. Oh, alright. Well, I'll just let y'all get one at a time. Do you, do you all got any initial thoughts, if y'all can hear what I'm saying? I hear I what you're saying. So far, Saber Fox is the one that's locked in based on the qualifying. And I believe Sumdan is locked in. Uh, Sumdan is not locked in. He is 22 points the good. Um, if he finishes here, he will make it to the next round. I'm fairly sure. If he finishes okay, second. Okay, so the only one is in a in a bit of a danger zone is Shard. Yeah, Shred right now. Or Shred. Our, our season points champion has had two bad finishes. In fact, uh, did not finish last week due to LJ Toledo causing the big one at Richmond. Uh, they currently uh, are 16 points below the cut line. They will have to uh, find some spots to make it in at this point and maybe hope some of their other competitors have issues. Uh, they do have some guys behind them they may be able to point off of, but I don't think it will be enough to make it to the next round. Um, uh, I don't care about Potato Boy. Yeah, Potato Boy. Uh, Potato Boy is currently... Uh, 12 points below the cut line. He is not looking too great either. However, his starting position is very promising. If he can finish here and not have any issues and not a whole lot of different lead changes, uh, unless he takes the lead, uh, he will end up making it to the next round. Oh, Toledo and Zofrida also need to have a best race as well. Yeah, to LJ he Toledo. caught that wreck at Richmond. Yeah, LJ Toledo is definitely almost got a penalty for that wreck. They caused wrecking a lap car causing the big one last week. Nonetheless, Ben Gonzalez, unfortunately, not able to get their first one of the season, but did end up locking themselves in the round of 16, that double zero Bush Beer Chevrolet. Um, but LJ Toledo starting in the back. They actually are in danger of getting eliminated at this point. So we'll see how that goes. And Urbano Gonzalez already locked in, but looking to have a solid day nonetheless, starting eh, around the mid-pack. I think Semi Messi should be. He might be good if he stays where he's in position now. Yeah, certainly so. Starting mid pack, they just. They're only one point below the cut line. Their competitor, uh, who's one point above the cut line, is a uh, Thunder 24 fan who is not looking good right now. Starting very far back in the pack. So if this finishes where it starts, um, that will be the case. As uh, I believe Santa Messi will end up making it in. Thunder 24 also getting eliminated. That was also depend on how Potato Boy does and Brock Nelson in the 51 as they are also looking to gain points. And uh, LJ Toledo, again, another factor in Frank Chilton as well, but Frank Chilton having a solid start. And so Sumdan, and then Sustray, Fox, and Nimrod are kind of locked in at this point, but they just need really to finish the race and just not finish dead last for them. So they could get locked in as this race uh, moves forward uh, before we need to even update the points. So, currently five drivers locked in. We just noted that Saber Fox just got the pull. That 10 point bonus alone was able to lock them in as they were about five points shy of being locked in as I updated points uh, last time around. Yep, it's go big or go home for the ones that are at the bottom. And the ones at the top, just keep your cool, get a better position so you can better for the next round. I think Shard might be able to do well for today's race. Well, have to come in but clutch. But it depends on how the others above him does. They will have to come in clutch. It is not looking good for them. Yeah. But we're going to go ahead and uh, get the engines. Oh, wait, no. That's... I think they start the engines now. Drivers, start your engines. Yep, uh, that my suspicions were correct. I thought it was... I, I got my minutes mixed up, but... 
laps. Yep. 25 laps here at Iowa. Everyone knows it's on the line. Be something to watch. Hopefully, no one's a lap one hero. <laughs> right. Who will make it and who will go home? Risk it for a biscuit. Uh, the car got off turn number four. And we are green at Iowa. So, or Saberfuss got the lead, and I believe that is Sunday on the high side, right? Yeah, he put up a little bit of fight there in turn one, but that bottom lane just appears to be a little bit more preferred than the top, or the bottom. Or, yeah, the top. Get my words mixed up there. There's Potato Boy trying to take away second from Sundan. Yeah, they were hugging that bottom. Great. Yeah, so far so good. Here. Everyone is keeping their manners. And we now have a battle for second and third. I believe that it's the 40 of... Okay. That is, oh. That's the 46. A Crow Pogress, who is automatically locked in. No, Craig is actually not in the playoffs. We're thinking but, of someone else. Uh, yeah, they actually, oh, we are under caution now, but... Craig uh, actually uh, finished second last week, looking for two straight. Uh, it looks like top threes they were able to take third there. Well, uh, let's see what happened on the racetrack to put us under yellow. Looks like Alex Tinker is the last running car. It would leave me to believe he may have been involved. I also seen a little bit of tingling with the 37 that time around as well. All right, so lap number two, we have a caution and Tinker's. I think he's involved. See if there are any playoff drivers involved in this. And it looks like, uh, oh, the double zero for Benning Gonzalez, who was locked in, was involved heavily. Uh, the good thing he's locked into the playoffs, otherwise this would have been playoff ender. We'll see what happened here. It looks like uh, Let's see. he got into the 93. He got a little tight there. It looked like... Yeah, got tight, got into the 93, got in the wall... Oh, man, right in front of Frank Chilton and the 51. I don't think the 51 got damage. We'll see if the 4 ends up with damage. No Clifton heavy damage. Monster heavy damage. Oh, Sue Strath a little bit. Oh, and Shred is involved. Shred is in the wall. That might be it for Shred. There's Michael Garo. Thunder 24 fan barely evades it. Sue Strath a little bit of damage. Honestly, I Shred has got damage, but um, I don't think it's race ending. Uh, that's definitely going to hurt him a lot, as he did not need that. So he yeah. is now further back than what he was in the field. Now we're going to try double follow restarts this track. I, I didn't do a lot of tests, so if we have issues with it, we will... Uh, go revert to uh single file starts we have any restart issues um if we do have restart issue it'll be a failed yellow we will throw another yellow to re-attempt the green flag or the re-attempt a restart that of which will be a single file restart and then the end of the rest of the race will also be single file starts we have many more wrecks but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our dnf list and it looks like no clifton uh Ruben Gonzalez, he is in the playoffs, but he's locked in, so he has not got any concerns. The 66 on Marker Leonard. And then on the concern for manual race removal would be uh, probably the 33, 43. The 33 of uh, I think Monster. Just a, I think just the 33 uh, Monster, because I think the 43s look all right. Everyone else doesn't have any huge cosmetic damage. We'll see if there's any engine damage in the field. Monster is definitely one to watch for manual race DNF. So we'll have to see how that goes. So far, race went out of hood. I didn't get to see the wreck because I had a bit of a technical difficulty on my end, but I saw at least part of it. Anyways, the uh, 87 still holding the lead. 
Haven't had, haven't seen a lot of. Pa I mean, we didn't really get much of a run to see a lot of passing, so we won't really know if we can see it or not. But right now, Roach Racing looking to get back-to-back -back races with two of their drivers inside the top five. And right now, it's looking pretty confident with Craig Pockers and Six Flame uh, currently in top five. Six Flame, uh, he is looking pretty good right now. Uh, just needs to finish the race, I think, at this point. Have a decent, solid finish. Right now, it's looking to be the case, and he'll be all right. Sure, the field has a f has a good restart. Uh, the 99 is on the block for restart violation. This would be catastrophic if he missed the restart because that would be black flag, and he would lose all that track position, and he'd be in very bad shape. Uh, he's good. All right, and he also got a lot of lead there, so it'll give him an extra point. And can he take the lead? He's gonna try it here. I'd be able to send it in. Oh, he's gonna try it. Saber Fox has got uh, the lane. Up on him. Saber Fox is gonna try to send it. 99 clears. Potato Boy, your new leader, is the 87's locked in. The 99 gonna try to lead some laps here. This is good for Potato Boy because each lap he leads will give him more points for him to get out of the uh, cutoff line. Yep, especially leading the race. Not not what I expect to happen here. Yeah, he needs every point he can get. Yep. Now let's get out of that position. Well, so far, a first pass doesn't look like it happens on a restart. Yep. As Potato Boy is seen to be pulling away. Yeah, just a little bit from the 87 of uh, Saber Fox. Saber Fox is locked in to the playoffs, so their concern for playoffs is no, non existent. However, they are still looking for their fourth win of the season, which they could get here. Potato Boy looking for a second. But boy, for Potato Boy to come in clutch, barely make the playoffs, and then be coming into the final race of the round of 16 in a deficit and then come maybe to win the race as he's leading laps now it's just, just really helping that that uh points deficit he has right now just in case he doesn't finish the race but uh really looking good for that 99 car potato boy right now and uh what a comeback from just a few races back as he was actually looking to be a playoff contender early in the season when he got his first win he needs another seven more laps. He can get the most left left. And that should be able to uh, either lock him in or get him up off the cutoff line. Well, I think the 87 led a few laps before, so he'll have to lead a little bit more than, than that. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, because he took the lead on lap number either seven or eight. I can't remember, but... Uh, now we're on lap... Any points he gains here is just really going to be for next round, because unfortunately with this system, uh, points do not follow you to the next round. Yep, everything resets. That's why they call it a go big or go home. Yep. Look like Sarah Fuck is getting a bit of pressure for a second. Yeah, Craig Pocker is looking for two top threes in a row. Prior to not having uh, much top fives, I think he only had one top five prior to... Uh, Last week, Rich. Uh, what was last week? Uh, it was a uh, whatever track that was. I think it was Richmond, right? Last week at Richmond. Yeah, R Richmond was last week. Uh, he got his uh, second top five of the season. Now today, he's looking for his back-to-back uh, -back top fives, being his third of the season. So nice comeback for Craig, despite not having a really great rookie sh rookie campaign. But he may start putting stuff together here towards the end of the season, which looking good for next season to maybe get some wins next year we'll see we'll see how he does next year but this year definitely not a great rookie showing but we'll see how he does well potato boy was pulling away now he's gonna be a little bit loose and we may have a three-way battle for first yeah. question is but... can they pass which uh, we've, we're seeing some passing if you can get underneath somebody you can get around him but question is if these guys can get close enough to get underneath them yeah, that's the question. And the good place clean air is going to be a big factor. Unfortunately, that's not really the great practice there, but Dodge 1, 2, 3 right now, none of which are teammates. Got k, &K Racing, uh, Furry Row Motorsports, and Roach Racing 1, 2, 3 right now, and they got two Chevys to round out the top five, and then the sixth Chevy and sixth, or third Chevy and sixth. As it looks like the 87 got loose, allowing the 99 to pull away once more. And these laps are slowly winding down. This is looking good for Potato Boy. Looking great for Potato Boy. Uh, let's take a look at uh, 
It looks like 37's out of the race. He had a mechanical failure. We'll uh, again, he is locked into the playoffs as well, so no huge concern. It looks like everyone is able to stay in the field as the 33 is paced well enough to uh, do all right. I like you moving up a spot as well. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, 33 uh, with no hood, he's still keeping pace. No engine damage. We don't want to get this teammate. Yeah, teammate. Yeah, he's trying to look for a pass. The Totten, huh? Ben. Batana. Yep, Batana. That's, a, that's a tongue twister. Yep. Uh, the front of them, it looks like Shard has got passed for 30... What 30, was that? Yeah, Shred is it's starting, to, starting to fall apart for Shred as they are actually losing a lot of time on the racetrack at this point. Uh, unfortunate. Well, they will not... Look. At this rate, they will not make it to the... Uh, the next round. In fact, uh, as these laps wind down, that hope just goes more and more down the toilet as uh, Potato Boy leads, and uh, he is. I think Potato Boy is locked into the playoffs now with the laps he's led. I think it's safe to say. So Potato Boy has locked into the playoffs after coming into this race uh, below the cut line. So he's definitely reversed the roles here and has came in clutch. However, Shred on the other hand was not able to do so as we're. Slowly winding down, and Shred is our season points champion. Uh, just had a bad three round of races, and unfortunately, with this system, will not make it to the next round. Well, Potato Boy really proven he really wants to make it into the next round. Yep, and he has done it in probably the best way possible. As we're coming to three to go here at uh, the Iowa. You get all Iowa. Yeah, Potato Boy is. Now he's slowly pulling away. Yeah, the this, this speed differentiation is just there. These guys just can't quite get enough run to pass each other. Unfortunately, it's because we had to do a package like this. Otherwise, it would be a wreck fest. We did have that one wreck to start the race uh, with that big wreck that pretty much just took Shred out of contention. Unfortunately, a couple other playoff guys, fortunately, who were already locked in. But uh, we'll just have to see how it all comes to be towards the end of it. Yep, as he... White flag here at Iowa. So based on the position where they finish, we'll see who's locked in and who's going home. But I think we already know one at the moment. If we map a battle for fourth, maybe. Or to tell. Potato Boy will send it home. And he will win at Iowa. And Jet 07, I, like it was a I think Jet 07 stole fourth from uh, Patrick Miller at the line. It was the only car I've seen get a run and finally got one on the last lap to get around that 18 for fourth place. Well, Potato Boy did what he has to do to make to make it into the round of 12. Yep. And Potato As Boy, Shard. Yeah, Potato Boy will make it to the next round successfully with winning here at uh, NCRS Iowa play after everyone's a race so it's the second one of the season as well puts him in the discussion for the championship now for that 99 car um, Shred unfortunately I I am fairly certain uh, Shred will not make it to the round of 12 uh, all of his finishes this round have been very poor uh, barely finished 39th and uh Again, he will not make it to the round of 12 in that uh, 73. Your season points champion will miss it. Um, now, points to be calculated, but uh, let's see. I want to see 29 on Nimrod. Where are they at? So Nimrod is, I think Nimrod's in with a 10th place finish. Saber Fox is in with a 2nd place finish. Kyler Sustray was involved in that accident, but he is in with the top 25. Some Dan is in with the top almost 10. Uh, Frank Chilton is... That is um, on the table. I think he's in, though. But we'll have to see where a points update, because I can't 100% confirm. Toledo, that is also one that, to look at for when I update points. Uh, Brock Nelson in the 51... Uh, I think he's in, finished 12th. Thunder 24 fan. Um, let's see, where is he? 
He actually uh, came back to finish 19th. So again, that'll be when until I update points, and then Santa Messi um, 22nd again. Not really sure until I update points. Uh, the 72 Aztec love it. Uh, he, I think uh, Aztec love it is not going to make the round of 12, and neither is Shred. So at this point, I know that the 72 and 33 are locked out. But everything else, uh, I know the the 63, uh, 97, 87, 29, 37, 06, 22, and double zero are locked in. And the 99 is locked in. So the discussion would be between the 5, 83, 51, 04, and 4 for the uh, round of 12 once I update points in a couple days. So um, as for that, uh, Reggie Fogelman was here briefly. Uh, give his thoughts at the beginning but had to leave i guess but uh for me dark x rain uh well dark you got any last thoughts for our clubs out here well now you pretty much said who's gonna be who's gonna be out and i'm pretty sure maybe that this is gonna be down to either Chilton or messi that gets the last playoff spot but See. that's what the rest is gonna be real tight do it our points update but as this is uh, as for me, Dark X Rain, uh, Reggie Fogelman also helped a little bit. This is the NCCRS at Iowa. Next week we are going to Papyrus Motorsports Park, which is a super speedway road course. Uh, you may have seen it in Sox. That had an interesting race. Frank Chilton definitely wanted to watch as he won that race in Sox. So uh, we'll see you then in NCCRS and the Cup Series going to Rockingham. Uh, as for that, uh, conclude it here.